So your ability to get compensation from damage around an outage is going to fall back many times to your contract. So if you don't understand them, consult a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer, by the way, and see what your options are in terms of recovery from the cloud computing provider. Second would be standard SLA liability limits. Cloud providers typically only offer service credits for outages, not cash compensation for broader losses. So the idea that you're going to get a big fat check uh, from your cloud computing provider around some sort of outage, not just AWS, but any cloud computer provider out there, is typically going to be fiction. <laughs> They're going to offer you service credits. Um which means it's their, it's their dollars. You're going to get AWS dollars, Microsoft dollars, Google dollars, uh, instead of real cash that you can spend and invest in and redirect investments. And that's just the way many of these things are written. I call them out in many instances when my clients are signing these contracts that you understand, by the way, that they're going to pay you with more services, you know, if you had problems with their services. So, uh, and typically they understand. I, I just don't think many enterprises consider that outages of the type we saw last month would occur, and therefore they happily sign these agreements. So next, the customer bears most risk. Business customers are usually responsible for their own financial losses resulting from cloud outages. So you're going to be holding the bag, so to speak. 